Hi guys, PD Tech here. I've just been checking uh, my RC logger after the little crash I had uh, the other day in the park. I've uh, just noticed this leg was a tiny bit looser than all the others, so I've just nipped up these little little tiny screws with a precision screwdriver. Uh, they were a little bit loose, that one as well. Motor mount's all fine, motor's turning fine. Uh, it's pretty much... There was no damage really. It had taken a pretty hard hit on the end of that arm. There was a lot of soil in there. The prop had a lot of signs that had been in the ground. But were, all the props are okay. So I was just checking the arms for damage and any cracks because the problems with this these RC loggers is the frame is very fragile. It's just a... You can see there where the arms join on. It's not a great design. They're like tubular arms and they go on little stubs that come out of the frame. It's just like a little X X shape plastic frame and there's not really the only bracing you can see there is around the battery mount. That's about the only bracing, so it's it's really fragile, doesn't crash well at all. So whenever you have a a crash on these, just best checking everything. Check the arms, check for cracks. Check all the motor mounts are secure still. Check all your props are all in good condition. Just generally give it a check over. Make sure everything's tight. Don't knit these screws up too tight though because they're, they're basically going into plastic and they're not threaded or anything. They're only like self-tappers. So you're only just nipping them up. So I always check these as well because there's a couple of mine that don't come loose but they, you can tell they just need turning ever so slightly every time before you fly. A couple of them are all right, it just depends which way the props go around. You can see there, that that's the prop that hit the ground. But it did all right, really. Uh, so just keep an eye on your logger. And uh, the good thing about them though is the parts are really, really cheap and they're all upgradable. You can get some nice aluminium motor mounts. You can get carbon fiber arms. You can do a lot with that shell there. You can modify that, customize it. You get bigger props, bigger legs, there's a lot you can do with these and the parts like I say are really cheap from uh, drone art is the supplier that I get stuff from okay guys just thought I'd give you an update on my RC logger and just let you know how things go take care hopefully you'll see another flight after this so I'm just about to go flying take care guys bye bye fly safe
Maybe they had a haircut. Another successful flight with the RC Logger Extreme. Just noticed a little bit of vibration on one of the motors since I crashed it. I've just I've checked everything's tight. I don't know whether one of the props might be split or something, but it seems to be dipping to one side at the front. So I think one of the arms is maybe bent, or maybe the frame's bent. But it's still in one piece and it's flying okay. It's just dipping down on that one side. I don't know why. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Take care, fly safe, bye bye for now.